Bienvenidos, nueva gente bonita. Sí, amigo. Bienvenido a Boy Park La Fana Sosa. Brilliant Spanish, Blake. Likewise, Neil. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've never been here before, but I've seen friends of mine, I've seen loads of videos in the past, and there's a load of big jumps here. Yeah, all these jumps are created by Nico Vink himself. He's an incredible dude in a digger, and he can shape pretty much any sort of dirt into something incredible. And Alex, who owns the place, is pretty legit on a motocross bike and on a mountain bike yeah. and big jumps as well, so looking forward to see what we got. Ooh. I reckon first up we're going to hit Summum Line up the top. We're in these old... Uh, Nissan Patrol army trucks as an uplift, bikes in the back, head all the way to the top, no pedaling today, Neil. And there's a trail called Supercross, which sounds pretty promising for jumps. As well as this one right here on our side, this is called Four Cross, full of jumps. Like I've never seen so many jumps in one line. Supercross line, uh, I've ridden quite a lot of Nico Vink's work, so kind of know how it works out, I know how it rides, but still, I think we should need to walk it, just see what it looks like, because we have no idea where we're going. No one's showed us where to do, what to go, or what speed to do, or whatever. I'm gonna follow you. But I didn't bring my Supercross bike. Brought my mountain bike. Brought my mountain bike too. No CRF 450 or 250 here. Okay, we've walked down the line, the line, not pretty much, not even halfway, I reckon, but no matter what kind of school level you're in, when you get to a track for the first time, it's intimidating, because you don't know what's coming up. So we walk in it, see what's going on, where the line goes, because there's loads of hips and stuff, and you don't want to shoot off in the wrong direction. I want to know what it looks like before I get there. And there's a few where you want to land quite close to the edge of the, of the landing yeah. to get into the burn. Especially that bit. It's mega loose on the inside. Yeah. So I reckon we could split this up just to practice it to about here, I reckon, yeah. to this step up, and then uh, piece it all together. It's like a puzzle. I actually like it. Yes, okay. Enduro bikes, man. You can hit big jumps and then pedal back up. Anyway, first hit. Actual first hit. Not enough speed into the first one, but I thought if I pump the berm, I'll get speed for that. I overjumped that a little bit. Next one, I braked because I overjumped. Hit it. Sharky, sharky. Step up, went to flat. So it's basically chill. You just got brought up. Brought up. Let, the, let the jumps do all the work and you just have some fun. Whoa! Nice, dude. This is gonna be a real good line. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous then. But it works, kind of as Blake thought. This kind of shouldn't have stopped because it works so well, but had the butterflies before dropping it. Still good, I was trying to rail that burn to get a bit more speed and I just washed the front wheel. Stayed on, luckily, but it's pretty scary. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know where this went. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Road gap. That's a big road gap. I've seen somebody for, uh, fail on that on our fails as well. I think we should make it down for lunch because we've been shredding Supercross. It's got 13 hits. I know. In that track. We'll do the ride back to the Casa as well. Good fun. Staying, it's called Four Cross. Yeah. Loads of jumps down here. There's two of us, so don't be too cross. <laughs> right. Down. Break a loose there, man. <laughs> Send it to the big end. Send it to the big end. <laughs> Four cross, baby. Four cross, two cross, don't be cross. Anyway, we've done that bit. It is so fun to finish that, that a whole day and you ride that at the end. Let's get back some refreshments and then there's more surprises to come. Oh yeah, big surprise. Not lunch, jumps. <laughs> I'm riding my Canyon Torque Mullet CF. So there's business in the front, 29 up front, and party in the back, 275. 170 mil travel, got the Fox DHX2 coil shock. Uh, running spank wheels, got that alloy rims, the Vibracore, 359 rear, 350 up front. And I'm riding my Nuke Proof Mega. Uh, this is a limited edition collection. Uh, it's the sprung range from Nuke Proof. Uh, it is the teal color. I do like the color. Grips match my frame. It's a mullet, mullet setup. So 29, 27.5. I'm running the E13 LG1 uh, Enduro spec wheels. So it's carbon front and rear. I've got 170 mil on the front. 165 on the rear. Uh, it, th th this is the creme of the creme, right? This rear spring is, whew, it's got jump mode. I absolutely love it. Big dropper, carbon bars from Nuke Proof, Shimano Dior XT all round, I love it. Right next to the Casa is the Airtime Arena where we've got a load of big jumps, some big moto jumps, but the line we're gonna hit is a big road gap, long and low, and then a massive great wooden ramp onto a huge landing, a bit of a step up. It's massive. Look at the size of it.
what a spot for sundown sessions on the jumps. Yes, Neil, such a good spot. Talk about sundowners, Sarvesta? I need it, that is yeah. scary, man. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments down below, where should we go next to hit some big jumps? Yeah, definitely come and visit La Fanesosa as well, it's amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Right, where is the Sarvestas?